AutoCAD for Mac is a native Mac application and not a port, and that's extremely clear in the user interface. The UI in AutoCAD for Mac looks and feels very different than the UI in standard Windows. There's no ribbon, which will make some of you very happy, and our good friends the toolbars and the pull-down menus are back to stay. Let me take you through a quick tour of the user interface, along with some tips to maximize your experience with AutoCAD for Mac. Now across the top of the screen we have the application menu bar, very similar to the pull-down menu that, we, that we've had if you've ever used AutoCAD uh, on Windows. Uh, now I'm going to select tools and show you that this is where the palettes are hidden and pretty much, you know, that the, everything's a palette inside of AutoCAD for Mac. We have the tool sets that we looked at, the command line. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn layers on. That's going to turn on the layer palette. And let's go ahead and turn on the properties inspector. And I'm not going to go into detail about these in this video. Um, I'm going to be talking about those at another time. But just basically, when you boot up AutoCAD for Mac, you'll probably see these are automatically displayed on your screen. And I want you to know how to get them, how to turn them off, how to turn them back on. Now, I love the help function inside of AutoCAD for Mac. It's really, really friendly. If I need looking for a command, I don't know where it is yet. I'm just getting used to using it. I key in what I, I need of the command. and and it will go find it for me. Now at this point, if I really want to draw an, an, an ellipse with the axis endpoint, I just need to hit an enter. I don't need to actually go find it in the menu, but it is good to remember, right, where it was in the menu. All right, so moving along, let's talk about the status bar. There's a status bar right now. I'm gonna actually scoot over to a different drawing so you can see it just a little bit better. I think it's easier to see it with that dark background. So the status bar, you know, once again, what you would expect inside of AutoCAD, we're familiar with the status bar. Some nice things in here, really easy to move to move over to your layouts if you have multiple layouts inside of your drawing or to go to model space, super simple. And these are the tools we expect, right? O snaps and transparencies and all types of things. At the very end, you will see that there is an arrow. And if you select that, it will also display a 3D status bar. Really nice feature. You can customize both of these by doing a right click. You can turn on or off. Maybe not, not everything is on that you want to have on. Maybe you want the attribute display to, to show up as well. If I do a right click, I want you to see that everything above this line has to do with the 2D status bar and everything below that line has to do with the 3D status bar. All right, so completely customizable and up to you. I'm gonna close that up. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this right back down. Let's talk last but not least about the command line. And you can see, once again, you can move these guys anywhere you want to on the screen, whatever works for you. So what have we got going on here? Well, this arrow right here allows me to view the history in this particular drawing, right? And you can make this taller. You can make it, you know, whatever works for you. And when well, you don't want to see the history anymore, you can just, you can just hit that arrow again and it will go away. Kind of like doing an F2. Uh, inside of AutoCAD. So what else is on here? I love the feature that uh, allows you to key in one or more characters and hitting the tab key, AutoCAD will go through all of the commands and system variables that start with those characters. Really, really handy if you don't know how to spell something or you can't exactly remember the name of a specific system variable. You'll also see in that AutoCAD for Mac has inline autocompletes. I can go ahead and I can type in like E-L-L -L, and you'll see that as soon as it figures out what command I'm trying to execute, it will just finish it off for me, right? Now there's another arrow over here on the left-hand side. If I click on that, you'll see that the three previously used commands show up, make it easy to go back and use one of those commands. And you'll also see that you can hit more commands and it will give you a listing of, of even previously used commands. You'll see here's that inline autocomplete. You wanna make sure that's on because that comes in handy. And a couple of other things, preferences and being able to edit the command aliases. So the command line is there and it is in full form for you to use. I think you'll find your experience with the UI in AutoCAD for Mac is going to be a great one. And you existing Mac users are going to feel right at home. Thanks for joining me.